Welcome to another new video. In this video, we examine some of the most important tasks that animals perform in nature and explore how they contribute to the delicate balance of life on Earth. So let's get started. 10. Beavers are fighting climate change. These woodland creatures have proven incredibly adept at naturally regulating ecosystems. Beavers are even considered ecosystem engineers because they have a significant impact on the environment around them. Dams create wetlands that transform the landscape and benefit a variety of species. Their damming and damming also reduce flood and wildfire damage, protect fish populations, and protect freshwater reserves. This is key to combating the effects of climate change. So when it comes to much needed stream ecosystem restoration, leave it to the beavers. Nine, sea otters are guardians of the moss forests. Sea otters are keystone species in marine ecosystems and play an important role in maintaining the health and balance of kelp forests. Their primary diet consists of sea urchins and spiny grazers, which consume large amounts of algae. Sea otters prevent overgrazing and degradation of kelp forests by keeping sea urchin populations in check. Eight, elephants provide water for other species. Elephants play a critical role in their natural environment. In times of drought, elephants dig into dry waterbeds to create watering holes for themselves and other species. Elephants also eat plants and disperse fresh and fertilized seeds in their dung. Elephants not only dig watering holes in times of drought, but also help mitigate climate change by consuming certain types of trees. Elephants also tend to prefer smaller trees rather than eating the larger trees that contain the most carbon. Seven, wild boars are normally very destructive in their environment. And although this is still true, they are also champions at seed dispersal. As wild boars move through forests, their tough, hairy fur easily catches seeds. Researchers counted the types of seeds found in the pig's fur, and it turned out to be more than 40 different types of seeds. So, wild boars disperse seeds far and wide, creating high levels of plant diversity in forest areas. 6. Ladybugs Nature's pest control agents. Those little red jewels diligently patrol the gardens and fields. Their presence is a welcome sight for farmers and gardeners alike. These beneficial insects eliminate aphids. Sap-sucking pests that can damage crops and plants act as natural pest control agents, reduce the need for harmful pesticides, and promote sustainable farming practices. Their presence indicates a healthy ecosystem where natural predators keep pest populations at bay, ensuring the vitality of plants and the productivity of agriculture. 5. Fish feces Help climate the ocean While the idea that fish feces helps climate may seem unusual, it's actually a crucial process in regulating Earth's temperature. Fish feces, also known as fecal pellets, play an important role in removing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and storing it in the deep ocean, where it can remain locked up for centuries. Fish consume large amounts of phytoplankton, which are tiny marine organisms that absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere through photosynthesis. When fish eat phytoplankton, they ingest carbon, which eventually ends up in their feces. Fish droppings are dense and compact, allowing them to sink quickly in the water column. This rapid descent carries carbon from the ocean surface to the deep sea, where it can be stored for long periods of time. Estimates suggest that fish feces account for approximately 10% of the total organic carbon sinking into the ocean depths. This contribution is equivalent to removing approximately 1.65 billion tons of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere annually. Fish feces support the diverse ecosystem of the deep ocean by providing a vital food source for deep sea organisms. Consumption of fish feces by deep sea creatures also contributes to the removal of carbon from the ocean. However, the decline in fish populations due to overfishing has also reduced the amount of carbon removed by fish feces. This reduction is estimated to be equivalent to the impact of climate change on carbon sequestration in the oceans. Four, worms are nature's farmers. Digging and tunneling activities loosen and aerate the soil, creating pathways for air and water to penetrate deep into the soil. This improved soil structure facilitates root growth, nutrient uptake, and overall plant health. They are also master recyclers. Earthworms feed on organic matter, such as dead plant leaves and decaying animal waste, and break it down into nutrient-rich compost, 
or worm castings. These fertilizers are a valuable source of nutrients for plants and contain five times more nitrogen, seven times more phosphorus, and 1,000 times more beneficial bacteria than original soil. Earthworms increase soil drainage. Their tunnels act like small drainage systems, allowing excess water to filter through the soil, preventing waterlogging and erosion. This improved drainage also helps prevent soil compaction and promotes healthy root development. Apart from this, they also increase soil biodiversity. Their activities create a habitat for various microorganisms, including bacteria, fungi, and protozoa, which play an important role in nutrient cycling and soil health. Earthworms are indicators of soil health. Their presence is a sign of healthy and fertile soil. A decrease in the earthworm population may indicate soil degradation or environmental stress. Another interesting information about worms is they are much older than dinosaurs. They have been farming on Earth for approximately 500 million years. Three, there is another animal that does things like aerating the soil and worms, and it would probably be a shame if we didn't include it in this list. I'm talking about ants, of course. It may be the hardest working animal in nature. Let's get back to our topic. What do ants do for nature? Aerate the soil. Ants dig into the soil, creating tunnels that allow air and water to penetrate. This helps improve the soil's structure and drainage, recycling organic matter. Ants eat a variety of organic matter, including dead plant leaves, rotting animal waste, and even small insects. This helps break down organic matter and release nutrients back into the soil. Dispersal of seeds. Ants usually carry seeds from one place to another. This helps distribute plants and promote biodiversity. Hunting pests. Ants hunt a variety of pests, including aphids, caterpillars, and other insects. This helps control pest populations and protect crops and other plants. Helping control insect populations. Ants can also help control insect populations by spreading diseases to other insects. For example, some ant species have been shown to spread diseases that kill mosquitoes. As a result, ants are indispensable members of the ecosystem. Two, plankton. If there were no plankton, there would be half of the oxygen in the world today. These microscopic creatures stay close to the surface of the water, where there is enough light for photosynthesis. They also break down organic matter in the water and recycle dead organisms. Plankton are divided into two main groups, phytoplankton and zooplankton. Phytoplankton are plants that use photosynthesis to produce food from sunlight and carbon dioxide. They are the primary oxygen producers in the ocean and are responsible for approximately half of the oxygen in the atmosphere. Zooplankton are animals that eat phytoplankton. They are a food source for a variety of other marine animals, including fish, whales, and birds. Zooplankton also plays a role in breaking down organic matter in water and recycling dead organisms. Plankton is found in all the world's oceans and is most abundant in areas where there is a lot of sunlight, such as the equator. They are also found in freshwater lakes and ponds. In summary, plankton is an unbreakable link of the ocean food chain. One, insects, especially pollinators, are integral to a healthy environment and the survival of the planet. Bees are the most important species on Earth, according to the International Conservation Nonprofit Earthwatch Institute. Without bees, global food production would look very different. According to the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, three out of four crops that produce fruit or seeds for human consumption depend at least partially on pollinators. Insects such as bees, butterflies, and hoverflies are the most common, although pollinators also include bats and birds. Pollinators support the production of 87% of major food crops worldwide. We looked at the top 10 animals that do important work in nature and discovered their functions. You may wonder, where are the birds? Birds are among the dust dispersers for plants in nature. I did not mention birds and other dust dispersers because bees are by far the first in dust dispersal. You can write in the comments which other animal you think should be on this list. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe.